So this time last year, I had a chance to shoot the Todd Gibson Family Day in Brooklyn. It was a pretty cool basketball tournament from all ages, but most importantly for Taj, it was a day where he got a chance to give back to his community and he was awarded the key to the city. I'm Brian Summers, and this is 1000 Words. In the summertime, New York City basketball is the main attraction. You might come up off the train right beside a tournament going on or just some kids playing in the park. The thing I like about New York is that even though there's not a lot of green grass and for front yards and whatnot, they make up for it with parks and every park has a basketball court. In fact, one of the coolest things I like to see is when you're coming down from a plane, landing in New York, at night especially, you can see all the courts lit up uh, and it gives you a perspective of how much basketball has an impact on this area. Now when you think street ball, names that come to mind are Dykeman Park, uh, Rucker Park. These are hollowed ground for street ball. In New York being a basketball mecca, it naturally breeds talent, but it's great when that talent comes back and invests back in the neighborhood. Taj Gibson plays for the New York Knicks and he's a product of New York City and he had a chance to come back and give back to his community. And in return, they gave him the key to the city. And this tournament was held in Fort Greene, Brooklyn, in the middle of Ingersoll houses on a revitalized basketball court. Shout out to Kenji for inviting me out and also big shout out to Doyle of Bucket Fan for everything that he's doing with the youth and basketball in the city. I got out there early just to see them set up and to get a few shots at that process, but I wasn't aware that they were going to put an elevated court where the existing concrete courts were already. So when I got out there and I saw the hoops were on the ground, I wasn't sure if they were tearing something down or building something up. Turns out they were doing a little bit of both. Summertime in New York, you can be sure to find a few elements. One of those elements being basketball, another is mini bikes. Just like a lot of other East Coast cities, there's a certain love for mini bikes and ATVs and riding dirt bikes on the street. That doesn't change in New York. There are kids out there on their mini bikes, riding up and down the sidewalks in and out of the community. To me, that's all a part of the summertime vibe. By the time they were almost done wiping down the court, the kids started piling in and getting anxious about when they were going to get a chance to hoop. The thing about these tournaments is that these kids travel different places and play against each other. They might end up on the same team as each other. They might end up playing against each other. So when you see your friend that you haven't seen since last summer or you haven't seen since school was in session, it's a, it's a bit of a good reunion. And then you want to bust their ass on the court. This video is brought to you by Sums Brand. Sums Brand is my online store where you can go to get original prints, graphic tees, weekly poster drops, and exclusive releases. I recently started sharing more about my plants, and somehow they found their way in a series of tees as well. As a multidisciplinary artist, the lesson that I've learned over the years is everything adds up. So if you're a photographer, graphic designer, illustrator, don't limit yourself. I recently rebranded the site, and if you use the discount code SUMS, SUMS, you get 10% off your entire order. So check out SUMSBrand.com today. One of the unique things about playing sports is the arena, the environment. You go into a stadium and you know there's going to be people in the stands looking down from the rafters. This is going on in the middle of the Ingersoll housing projects. So just as there were people on bleachers around the court and that got surrounded as the night went on, there were people in their own homes cheering on from the tall buildings surrounding this newly renovated court. It seemed like the OGs wanted to prove they could steal ball. The higher schoolers wanted to prove that they're worthy and they could fly. And the younger they got, they just wanted to be on the court. I learned a while ago in sports photography that it's all about the angles. If you're shooting someone dunking or getting a layup and you want to make that distance between them and the ground look greater, you get down low and you shoot up, get that worm's eye view. These shots are typically pretty constant because you know that these people are dunking in an arena. So you expect to see a jumbotron behind them or flashing lights or people's faces in awe along the sidelines. Those are the things that set the Rutgers from the Dykemans, from the Ingersolls, from the Coney Island, or whatever your favorite court or arena to play in. 
those are the things that set them apart. I probably took about a thousand photos that day between my Sony A7 and my Fuji X100S. My lens arsenal was limited at the time and I chose my Fuji because it has a lens that's about 23 millimeters. Um, but it's funny when I come up to an event like this with the camera like this, <laughs> shooting basketball. When most people are out there with long telephoto lenses, getting all of the action, and an event like this, it's a lot more amateur photography. People with T3Is or whatever the lowest level consumer brand camera is, but that just goes to show you it's not about the equipment all the time, it's about how you use it and your perspective and what you're actually shooting for. My favorite shot of the day has gotta be the group shot with Taj and the whole community. The edit is in black and white. Everyone's wearing different colors, but in black and white, it just unified everybody. And of course, Taj sticks out being 6'9", towering over everyone out there. But everyone is packed in super tight, covering the whole court, trying to get into the shot. Of course, I didn't get everybody, but from the angle I shot, it seemed like a sea of people and Taj, 6'9", Taj, standing in the middle, standing out, and giving this huge hug to the community. And I got that shot on the Fuji. Damn, I missed this camera. The NBA is back, but unfortunately, streetball is canceled. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected us all, and hopefully we can get back soon. Stay safe, wash your hands, wear your mask, stay six feet, but I'm looking forward to when we can get back to this. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you loved it, hit the bell. If you really loved it, drop a comment. Ew. Well, 